One of the most common questions is how do you deal with losses? Um, so I thought it was good to address it within a video. And basically, what I've got to say on this is, it's almost like that question's a little bit twisted for me. How do you deal with losses? Losses are part of the game, yeah? You don't necessarily need to deal with them. It's part of the game, yeah? It's, it's part of trading. The problem comes with losses for people is what happens after a loss, yeah? Are you emotionally engaged? Do you feel like you've lost out? Do you feel like you lost some money and you feel bad for that? Um, you know, do you feel worse off and you're gonna end up going on the tilt, you're gonna end up not keeping to your edge, you're gonna end up overstaking, all them sort of bad things. We've all done it where you know you'd be going through a day and you make a consistent amount of money and then you have a shit market and then after that everything spirals out of control, goes downhill and fucking, you know, the bank's gone. That is the key thing to acknowledge him for a start, you need to accept it and acknowledge the fact that you know losses are part of the game and as long as you win a little bit more than you lose throughout the space of a day, a week, a month, then quite frankly it doesn't matter. Um, it's just part of your education. Um, and you need to ditch that emotional attachment within the market to, to them losses because it's gonna do you no good. You know, In that sense you need to be acting almost a little bit like a robot. Uh, and then the final thing I want to say about that is, uh, with, with dealing with losses, is you don't necessarily need to deal with a loss because you don't need to lose all the time. Because what the, the fucking beauty of trading is you can get involved when you want, right? You don't have to get involved in every market, in every trade, in every, every move, in every trend. You don't have to get involved, yeah? It's like a boxing match where you could step into the ring when your opponent's weak and a little bit dazed, a little bit dizzy, and then just land a haymaker on him, yeah? And then you could step out of the ring, wait a few more rounds until he's tired again, and then step in and pick up the pieces as it were. And that's exactly what an edge is. It's an advantage that you've got over the market, be it a small piece of information, a way of trading, all that sort of stuff, um, over the market. So losses don't need to happen, and they definitely don't need to be out of control. And that is the problem with losses. It's not the actual loss itself. Um, a big part of that as well is the execution and how you actually execute yourself within the market. Now, this happens to all of us. It happens to me as well from time to time, which is human at the end of the day. But if you're not executing well within the market, then you know there's a good chance that you can't take a profit out of the market and you may have been completely right as to what you thought was going to happen. We've all been there where you look at a market and you go, yeah, that's going down, and you trade it and you come out and you're like, fucking hell, I'm in a red and I made a right mess of that, but it did exactly what I said it would do. Um, so execution is absolutely crucial, to so have a plan, have an idea of how you're going to work, have an idea of what your edge is in that market, when you're going to get involved, when you're going to exit, if it goes tits, when you're going to bail, all them sort of things. Um, sorry, excuse my language, just, just, just waffling away there. Um, but at the end of the day, trading is a 50-50 game. So all you need to do is win more than you lose. Um, keeping, keeping that mindset um, close when you're trading within the markets will actually benefit you massively. And then the final thing I want to talk about very briefly is um, what I, I sort of term your personal green level, which is like a subconscious psychological thing. I know I've been through it. Um, I know it's been a problem for me previously in the past, so I'm assuming it is for most people out there. I don't know. Um, maybe if you just comment below and let us know, that, that'd be great. But there was a point where I kind of had this, this figure in my head and the figure was like 20 quid. So if I'm trading in horse racing and I get, get to 20 quid profit, I'd be like, yes, close out position, yeah? And it's completely counterproductive. That's not what having an edge and everything's about, you know? If you, if you identify a move and you expect it going off to, you know, X, X position, um, or, it, you know, you ex expect it to drift and you're completely right and then you're like, yes, 20 quid and close out, that's all very well and good, you've got 20 quid, but how short did you sell yourself? If it goes on twice the distance and you could have had 40 or 60, um, then you're actually setting yourself up to deal with them losses in the longer term because uh, you know at the end of the day it's a 50-50 game and you, and you just need to let the profits run further and the losses you need to close out shorter. So be aware of that green level in your head if you've got one because I know I, know I had one and you know for a long time I just never really got much beyond 20 quid in a race because of it. Um, and just by being aware of it, much like the fact that you even need losses to progress um, and accepting it will allow you to be in a better position mentally within the markets to actually to profit from your positions.